Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Veterinary Studies YouTube channel. This is a series of lectures on veterinary anatomy. I am Mohamed Azhar Mehman and today I am going to tell you about skeletal system. Skeletal system consists of skeleton. Skeleton is a framework that is necessary to support, protect the internal organs and allow for the movement of an organism. Basically, there are three types of a skeleton, hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton and endoskeleton which is found in the different animals of a kingdom Animalia. Hydrostatic skeleton, hydro means water or fluid, static means pressure. So the skeleton which is formed by the pressure of a fluid is known as hydrostatic skeleton. Hydrostatic skeleton is found in the earthworms, starfishes etc. Exoskeleton. Exo means outer. It is the skeleton which is found at the outer parts of animal is known as exoskeleton. Exoskeleton is an external hard encasement on the surface of an organism. Exoskeleton is found in the insects such as housefly, ants, ticks etc. Endoskeleton. Endo means internal. It is the skeleton which is found inside the body of animal. Endoskeleton is consist of bones. It consists of hard mineralized structure located within the soft tissues of an organism. Endoskeleton is found in the vertebrates animals such as livestock. There are about 207 bones in animals. Animal skeleton is divided into two parts axial skeleton appendicular skeleton axial skeleton is made up of skull vertebral column ribs and sternum appendicular skeleton is made up of bones of a limbs this is a forelimb and this is a hind limb now in axial skeleton first of all i am going to tell you about skull Skull forms the basis of the head of animals. Bones of animal skull consist of cranial bones and facial bones. Cranial bones are those bones which surround the brain or central nervous system to form cranium. Cranial bones are consist of single and pair bones. Occipital, ethmoid and sphenoid bones are single bones whereas frontal, parietal, interparietal and temporal bones are pair bones. Facial bones are the bones which exhibit observable variation among the species. So it means facial bones form the face features or expressions of animals. Facial bones consist of single and pair bones. Vomer, mandible and hyoid bone are single bones whereas lacrimal, malar, maxillary, premaxillary, palatine, nasal, pterygoid and turbinate bones are pair bones. Bones of a skull can also divide it into two types on the basis of their development, dermal bones and cartilaginous bones. The bones which are developed from the membranes are called dermal or membranous bones and the bones which are developed from the cartilaginous tissue are called cartilaginous bones. Dermal bones form the roof of the cranium. Dermal bone includes paired flayed bones such as bones of the cranium like frontal, parietal, interparietal, occipital, temporal, vomer and facial bones. Whereas cartilaginous bones form a base of the cranium of the skull. It consists of irregular bones like occipital, ethmoid, sphenoid and temporal bones. Now functions of skull. A skull protects the brain or the central nervous system. It also supports and protect the sense organs such as facial and cranial nerves. A skull forms the passage for the beginning of the digestive and respiratory system in the form of mouth and nose. 
This is the pictures of a skull of a cattle and horse. Each bone is represented by a particular color. The names of each bone denotes as the part and location of the skull. First of all, incisive or premaxillary bone in a yellow color. It is found at the above of an incisor teeth. That's why it is called incisive bone. This one is nasal bone. It forms the nasal passage or nasal cavity. This one is maxilla, which is the upper jaw of a skull. This one is lacrimal bone because it is found at the site of a lacrimal duct which secrete tears or lacrimation. This one is zygometric bone which form the prominent part of the cheek and site of a eye socket. This one is frontal bone which forms the front part of the skull. This one is a parietal bone and Interparietal bone is not clear in this picture. This one is a temporal bone. It forms the lower lateral part of the skull. This one is a occipital bone. It forms the base of the skull and encircle the spinal cord. This one is a mandible or lower jaw. This one in a blue color is a palatine bone. It forms the hard palate of the oral cavity. Sphenoid and pterygoid bone are not clear in this picture. Similarly, this is the picture of a skull of a dog and pig. This is the picture of a posterior part of a skull of a dog, pig, ox and horse. In this picture, interparietal bone is here. This one is a parietal bone, this one is a frontal bone, and occipital bone is divided into three parts. This one is a occipital squamous part, this one is a occipital lateral part, and this one is a occipital basilar part. This one is a temporal bone. Now vertebral column. Vertebral column is the fundamental part of the skeletal system of a vertebrates animal. Vertebrates animal are those animals which having vertebral column. Vertebral column consists of a series of median irregular bones called vertebrae. Vertebral column starts from the base of the skull to the tail of animal. There are two types of vertebrae. True vertebrae, false vertebrae. True vertebrae are the movable vertebrae which are free to move. It includes cervical, thoracic, lumbar and coccygeal vertebrae. False vertebrae. False vertebrae are the fixed vertebrae which are fused to form immovable bone like sacrum in the pelvic griddle. There are five regions of a vertebral column, cervical region, thoracic region, lumbar region, sacral region and coccygeal or caudal region. This is the formula of a vertebral column of a different animals. Now sternum and ribs. Sternum is the bone which forms the floor of the bony thoracic wall. It gives attachment to the costal cartilage of the sternal ribs as well as forming a place of origin of a costal muscle. Sternum consists of segments called sternebrae which tend to fuse together as age advances. It means as the animal grows these sternebrae used to form a sternum bone. The number of sternebrae varies with the species. Like in pig and sheep, there are 6 sternebrae, cow, goat and horse 7 and dog have 8 sternebrae. Ribs Ribs are the long curved bones which form the rib cage, which is an important part of axial skeleton. Ribs serve to protect the lungs, heart, 
and other internal organs of a thoracic cavity. There are two types of uh, ribs, true ribs and false ribs. True ribs are also called sternal ribs which are attached to the sternum. False ribs are also called external ribs. They are free to move and they does not attach to the sternum. Similarly, like number of sternibri, there the number of ribs are also different in different animals. In horse, there are eight sternal ribs and ten external ribs. In ruminants, there are eight sternal ribs and five external ribs. In canine, there are nine external ribs and four external ribs. Pigs have seven external ribs and eight external ribs. Human have 11 external ribs and 1 external ribs. Last but not the least, appendicular skeleton. Appendicular skeleton is made up of bones of a limbs. Appendicular skeleton consists of four limbs which is also known as pectoral limbs and second one is hind limb which is also known as pelvis limb. Bones in a four limb. In large animals, pectoral girdle consists of only scapula bone, whereas in birds it consists of clavicle or forcula bone, coracoid bone and scapula bone. This is the picture of a forelimb and the bones in a forelimb are scapula, this one is a humerus bone and this one is a radius bone and this long bone is ulna bone. As the age advances, these two bones fuse to form radius ulna bone. These are the small bones called carpal bones. This is an arrangement of a carpal bones in animal body. This side is a medial side and this side is a lateral side. This is a proximal row and this one is a distal row. The bone which is at the medial side in a proximal row is called radial bone and this one is a intermediate carpal bone, this one is a ulnar carpal bone and this is accessory carpal bone. In distal row this carpal bone is formed by the fusion of second and third carpal bone and this one is a fourth carpal bone at the lateral side. Now this one is a metacarpal bone which is also known as cannon bone and this is the digit of a forelimb which consists of phalanges. In horse the long phalange is known as long piston bone and the short phalange is also known as short piston bone and the third phalanx is also known as coffin bone. Hind limb. The bones in a hind limbs are first of all pelvic girdle which consists of ilium, ischium and pubis bone. This one is a femur bone. This one is a small bone called patella bone. This one is a tibia bone and this small bone is fibula bone. As the age advances these two bones fuse to form a tibia fibula bone and these are the small bones called tarsal bones. The arrangement of a tarsal bones in a cattle is this long one is a calcaneous bone, this small one is a talus bone and this one is a first tarsal bone, this one is a second tarsal bone, this one is a third tarsal bone and this one is the fourth tarsal bone. They are the metatarsal bones, this one is the second metatarsal bone, this one is the third metatarsal bone and this one is the fourth metatarsal bone and this one is the fifth metatarsal bone. The long metatarsal bone is formed by the fusion of these two third and fourth metatarsal bone. After tarsal bone, this is the metatarsal bone which is also known as cannon bone. On each side of a metatarsal bone there are two small bones called splint bones. These are the second and fifth metatarsal bones and this one is the digit of animal which consists of phalanges. In horse the large phalanx is also known as long piston bone and short 
phalanx is also known as short piston bone and the third phalanx is also known as coffin bone and these small bones are uh, sesamoid bones like this one is the proximal sesamoid bone and this one is the navicular bone this one is the picture of a horse skeleton in this picture we can see axial skeleton and uh, appendicular skeleton this is the vertebral column and these are the regions of a vertebral column and uh, this one is the cervical region this one is the thoracic region this one is the lumbar region and this one is the sacrum region and this one is the caudal or coccygeal region tail region this one is the rib cage and the sternum is not clear in this picture now limbs this one is the forelimb and this one is the hind limb this one is the scapula bone this one is a humerus this this one is a radius ulna bone this one is the carpal bones and metacarpal bone and this one is the digit bone which consists of phalanges and in hind limb this one is the pelvis griddle or pelvic griddle this one is the femur bone this one is the tibia fibula bone and this one is the tarsal bones this one is the metatarsal bone and this one is the digit this one is the skeleton of ox this one is the skeleton of dog and cat this is all about today's lecture if you like this video press like button if you want latest update regarding my youtube channel press bell icon and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you allah hafiz